let's create inflated text effect in Adobe Illustrator. I have kept my document size to 1080 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 300. So let's get started by selecting the rectangle tool and create a box as a background. Click I to get the eyedropper tool. Select the color you want. I have a color theme here for this video. Now let's go to layers and lock this background layer. As you can see, we can't select the background anymore. So now let's select the type tool and type the word you want to use as background. For the font, you can use any font you like. I will be using Alphabet 4 font and set the size to 225. Press escape so you can select it. Place it on top like this and change its color using the eyedropper tool. Now let's duplicate it by holding Alt and drag it down, just like this. And now press Ctrl and D to repeat. Then we'll select all the text and group it by pressing Ctrl and G. After they are in a group, we'll align them. I will use the down arrow key to move them. Once you're satisfied, go to layers and lock text layer so we don't move it by mistake. So now let's select the type tool again and type the letter B. Click Ctrl and A to select the text. We'll change the font to Porky's Heavy. And we'll set the size 555. Now let's select the eyedropper and select the color. Okay, so now we need to give 3D effect to this. So let's go to FX, 3D and materials and inflate. Let's set the depth to 22. And then go to materials. Here in roughness, we'll set it to 0 0.35. Now let's go to lighting and set the rotation to minus 146. Below that, we'll change the height to 51. On the bottom, we can see the shadow option. Let's enable it. Now, let's start building the word Barbie. I will rotate the letter B and duplicate it. And change it to letter A and place it. To move the letter behind, click Control and open bracket. Now we'll repeat the same steps and complete the word Barbie. We'll fast forward this so some of your time gets saved. Now press A to get the direct selection tool and select all the letters by holding Shift. Now group them by pressing Control and G. Now I will manually align it. I think this looks good. So now again, press A to get the direct selection tool and select the letter and click on this render with ray tracing. Here is where all the magic happens. Repeat it with the next letter. We'll fast forward it now. And we are done. I will just lock all this by going to layers and that's it. Hope you liked the tutorial. Hope you got to learn something new. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.